Beijing has accused Manila of provoking tensions in the South China Sea. In a resolute move against perceived aggression, Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. has pledged to confront what he deems as illegal, coercive, aggressive, and dangerous attacks by China's Coast Guard in the tumultuous waters of the South China Sea. This bold assertion of Philippine sovereignty highlights a firm commitment to safeguarding territorial integrity and asserting national autonomy in the face of mounting tensions in the South China Sea. The pronouncement, made by President Marcos Jr. on Thursday, pinpoints the gravity of the situation as he reiterated the Philippines' resolute stance against external intimidation. The threat has grown, um, and since the threat has grown, we must uh, do more to, to defend our, our, our territory. And uh, so maybe perhaps that's what, that is, uh, what we people, people are seeing, uh, is that a more robust defense of our, of our territorial rights. Uh, as uh, recognized by the international community through international law, through the UNCLOS. Um, and uh, we, we, we hew very close to that. We, we, do, not, we do not leave uh, very... Uh, we, do not, we have not instigated any kind of conflict. We have not instigated any kind of confrontation. With an unwavering resolve, Marcos Jr. stated that while the Philippines seeks no conflict, it refuses to succumb to silence or subjugation in the face of provocations. The looming confrontation stems from a series of incidents involving Chinese Coast Guard vessels and suspected militia ships, which the Philippines perceives as aggressive encroachments within its territorial waters and exclusive economic zones. These confrontations have reignited long-standing disputes over sovereignty and maritime rights in the South China Sea, a vital conduit for global commerce and energy transit. The disputed waters, contested by China and several Southeast Asian nations, including the Philippines, Vietnam, Malaysia, Taiwan, and Brunei, have witnessed a surge in maritime tensions in recent years. This contentious backdrop has set the stage for periodic clashes and diplomatic standoffs, exacerbating regional instability and straining diplomatic relations. In response to China's alleged provocations, President Marcos Jr. has vowed to implement a countermeasure package characterized by proportionality, deliberation, and reason. Although specifics of these measures remain undisclosed, security officials have hinted at potential strategies, including the deployment of faster military vessels for supply missions to contested areas like the Second Thomas Shoal. The Second Thomas Shoal, a submerged reef fiercely contested by China and the Philippines, has emerged as a focal point of maritime tensions symbolizing the broader territorial disputes in the South China Sea. Despite a 2016 ruling by The Hague rejecting China's claim to the area, Beijing's persistent assertiveness has fueled recurrent hostilities and diplomatic frictions. Recent incidents, such as a water cannon attack on a Philippine resupply ship by Chinese Coast Guard vessels, have underpinned the severity of the situation. These confrontations, marked by acts of aggression and maritime brinkmanship, have heightened concerns among regional stakeholders and attracted international condemnation. In a show of solidarity, the United States, a long-standing treaty ally of the Philippines, has reiterated its commitment to the Mutual Defense Treaty, pledging to come to the aid of the Philippines in the event of armed aggression. This reaffirmation of support highlights the strategic importance of the Philippines in the geopolitical calculus of the Indo-Pacific region. The Philippines' pivot towards a more assertive stance against China marks a departure from the conciliatory approach adopted by Marcos Jr.'s predecessor, Rodrigo Duterte, who sought closer economic ties with Beijing. This strategic realignment reflects a broader recalibration of Manila's foreign policy towards enhancing security cooperation with traditional allies, particularly the United States. Against the backdrop of mounting tensions, the Philippines has sought to galvanize international support, engaging with allies and partners to address the maritime challenges posed by China's assertive behavior. President Marcos Jr. has also stated the importance of collaboration with international allies in safeguarding Philippine sovereignty and ensuring peace and stability in the Indo-Pacific region. We, the Philippines, thank Australia for expressing concern on the latest actions directed against the Philippines in the South China Sea. We join Australia on the call for peace, stability, and respect for the 1982 Law of the Sea Convention, or UNCLOS.
Despite China's dismissal of Philippine grievances and accusations of misinformation, Manila remains undeterred in its pursuit of asserting its maritime rights and upholding international law. Basta ang, uh, ang utos po natin sa ating mga kasundaluhan na nandyan sa West Philippine Sea is uh, maximum tolerance. Because we have to follow still the international laws. Dahil tayo bilang bansa ay sumusunod tayo sa uh, uh, international rules based order. As the standoff between China and the Philippines unfolds against the backdrop of Holy Week, a period of religious significance in the predominantly Catholic nation, the stakes are higher than ever. With both sides entrenched in their positions, the South China Sea remains a flashpoint of geopolitical competition, posing challenges to regional stability and diplomatic relations. <laughs> 反复的挑衅姿势，是谁在违背双方的共识和自身的承诺？是谁在自导自演，渲染紧张？是谁在拉拢域外势力插手介入？In the absence of a diplomatic breakthrough, the specter of further escalation looms large, raising concerns about the potential for miscalculation and unintended conflict. As the Philippines braces for potential confrontations at sea, the need for dialogue, de-escalation, and adherence to international norms becomes increasingly imperative to prevent a further deterioration of the situation. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, do hit like, share, and subscribe our channel for more videos.